of you are welcome back to class. I have a very special gift for you guys today. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not done so and ensure that you turn on the post notification bell for more exciting videos, guys. So we love you. We want to give you the best in this video tutorial today. So guys, I have a stuff for you. So follow me up as I hold you by the hand and walk you through the process of solving complex indices of this video. Guys, don't forget, avoid every unnecessary distraction. Don't skip any part of this video for your own advantage. Like this video and share this video if you find this video helpful at the end of watching this video. Now let's get started. We are asked to simplify 16 raised to power 3 over 4 multiplied by 4 raised to power 1 over 2 multiplied all over 8 raised to power 5 over 3. Guys, this is very, very simple. All we need to do is down our solution and identify the loss that are applicable here. There are so many ways you can solve this problem. So many ways. So many ways this problem can be solved. So many. I'll show you how we can solve it. Now let's test that we have this as 16, 3 over 4, multiplied by 4, 1 over 2, all over 8, 5 over 3. This is equivalent to. Now I can decide to solve. I can decide to solve the numerator using rule number one. I can also decide to solve the numerator using rule number seven just to solve them individually. So we are going to solve this individually. Now, how do we solve them individually? For 16 raised to power 3 over 4, this obeys the seventh law of indices, fractional power. This will have given us the fourth root of 16 all raised to the power of 3 multiplied by the square root of 4, all raised to the power of 1. Then all over, at the denominator, this also happens to be what? Rule number rule number 7. So all we need to do now is also to create our root, then put down 8. Outside this root becomes the denominator, and the numerator becomes the power. As simple as this. The next thing we are going to do to have this solved is what is the fourth root of 16? Now, guys, the fourth root of 16 is a number that we multiply itself four times to give us 16, and that number is 2. 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16. Four times. So that would have given us 2 raised to the power of 3. Then multiply by 4. The square root of 4 is. A number that will multiply itself two times to give us four, and that is also two. All over, at the denominator, we have a number that will multiply itself three times to give us eight. That's the ten, the cube root of eight, and that will also give us two raised to the power of five. And guys, this will have given us two raised to the power three multiplied by two raised to the power one, all over two raised to the power five. Now, applying the laws of indices. We know that this will give us 2 raised to the power 3. Now, the relationship between the numerator is multiplication. So, we add the powers while we pick one base. Then, at the denominator, we also have equal base. And now, to division, we have minus 5. As simple as this. I just wanted to use any of the laws of If you can decide to multiply out, they cancel out at the end. We still have the same result. I want to use both the first law and the second law. Understand that this question can also be reinterpreted as. 2 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1, then divided by what? 2 raised to the power 5. And this will have given us 2 raised to the power 3 plus 1 minus 5 using the first law and second law of indices. Multiplication is addition and division is subtraction. Then this will have given us 2 raised to the power 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 minus 5 is minus 1. And using the fourth law of indices, this becomes 1 over 2 raised to the power 1. And this is the answer to this very question when we solve this question using this particular method. You see how exciting this is. Now let's look at another method to solve this particular question. To solve this question, now to solve this question in another way, we can decide to reduce this to base 4. And that would have given us. 4 raised to power 2 over 3 of 4 times 4 raised to power 1 over 2 
all over 8 raised to the power 5 over 3. This is another way this question can be solved. So I can choose to multiply add numerator and denominator, or otherwise 2 will cancel down to your this is over 1. Are we there? Or otherwise, okay, let's multiply out. So 2 times 3, that will give us 4 raised to the power 6 over 4 times 4 raised to the power 1 over 2 over 8, 5 over 3. I don't want to use root method. Then this will have given us, now understand that something is common between these two terms, and that will have given us 4 raised to the power 3 over 2. 2 into 6 is 3, and 2 into 4 is 2. Then multiply by 4 raised to the power 1 over 2, all over 8 raised to the power 5 over 3. Then at this point, all I need to do now is to pick one of the base and the numerator and add up their power. So this will have given us 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2, all over 8 raised to the power 5 over 2 over 3. Now guys, at this point, understand that here, the numerator here, the numerator here is 3. The numerator here is 1. The denominators here are 2, 2. So anytime you have two fractions whereby the denominators are the same, all you just need to do is to add up their power. Then this will have given us 4 raised to the power 2. Four, 3 plus 1 is 4. So now that we have successfully added it, now that we have found out that this fraction has equal denominators, same values as the denominator, all we just need to do is to add up the numerator. This will have given us 4 raised to the power 4 over 2. All over 8. 5 over 3. And this is equivalent to 4 raised to the power 2 over 8 raised to the power 5 over 3. So guys, what next? All we simply need to do now is to convert this to each fraction. Are we there? Is to convert this to each fractional form. Of course, this will have given us 4 raised to the power 2 divided by 8 raised to power 5, 3. This is question number 8 on the board. We are quickly going to simplify this. Let's go. Now, on the board, we are asked to simplify square root of 50 p cubed, p raised to power 3, q raised to power minus 2, all over P raised to the power 5, Q raised to the power 8. Now we have this solution. We have 50 P cube Q raised to the power minus 2 all over 2 P5 Q minus 6. And all of these are inside squares. So the first thing you do is to create your square root, then separate the numbers from the letters according to their what? Likeness. So 2 over 50 over 2, then multiply by 50 p times p3 all over what? p5. Then multiply by q times q minus 2 over q minus. Alright, so this is what we have. Then the next thing we do is to what? Apply the law of indices. Any of the laws of indices. Of course, 50 divided by 2 will give us 25. Put 25 over 1 if you want to. Then, P divided by Q is the same thing as PQ divided by Q. P raised to the power 6. And when we have this, all we simply do is to pick one of the base, pick the first power minus the second power, which is 5. Are we there? Then, Multiply by the same thing that happens to P, we have to Q. So pull down Q, and the numerator we have minus 2, and the denominator we have minus, minus 6. All in square root. Alright, so this is what we have. Now, at this point, all we just need to do is to have this as 25, multiply by. When we remove 5 from 3, we will have this to be P raised to power minus 2, multiply by Q raised to power minus 2. Minus times minus will have given us plus 6. Then we have this to be what? 25 
multiply by p raised to the power minus 2, multiply by q raised to the power what? 4. Don't forget minus 2 plus 6 is plus 4. Are we there? Yes. Now, at this point, we have the square root of 25 times. Don't forget that we can write our answer as a negative power. So we need to remove this negative with the use of what? Room number what? 4. Therefore, we have 1 all over p raised to the power 2 multiplied by q raised to the power 4. When we multiply all this, this will have given us the square root of 25 q raised to the power 4 all over p raised to the power 2. Now, what will be the final answer here? Find the square root of these terms individually. What is the square root of 25? 5. 5 times 5 is 25. What is the square root of q raised to the power 4? Like I explained earlier, if I know that here is 2, I will just divide the power of 2 by 2. So if I divide 4 by 2, I will have 2. That means this will give us 2 raised to the power 2. Then all over. The power of p is 2, so when I divide 2 by 2, I have 1. This is the p. This is the answer to this very question. So, guys, this is easy. Therefore, this is equal to this. Now, let's look at another question again. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you have not done so, and ensure that you turn on the post notification bell for the starting video, we love you. Thanks for being our fan. Thanks for following us. Help us to share this video if you find this content helpful. Alright? See you guys in the next video.